Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. It is earning seasons, and stocks are either exploding or having a major dump. Nothing is seeming to trade sideways lately after this earnings report. And I know you guys are trying to learn about earnings report, how to play them before the market, after the market, what to do. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to play earnings report after the earnings came out because you guys are saying hey these companies are meeting the expectations they're making money in revenue why is the stock dropping what is going on why this company met their earnings per share and the estimated revenue they met theirs and they're skyrocketed and you're wondering what's going on how can you find out the news where can you see the numbers well i'm going to show you guys all of that in this video over three major stocks starbucks AMD and Google, Google exploded through the roof. AMD and Starbucks, they had a major pullback, but that could be an awesome thing for investors like us to get into if we know what we're doing. I'm gonna bring you guys some technical analysis in this video so you guys could get some good entry points. And I'm gonna give you guys some very simple tools that you can use today completely free that could help you become a better trader inside of the Moomoo app. So if you guys do wanna sign up for Moomoo, I'm gonna leave that link down in the description. That's the app I'm using. They have completely stepped up their game when it comes to trading and option trading and anything like that. Right now, I have a special link from Moomoo. If you click that down in the description to sign, uh, sign up, deposit $100, you will, you will receive 10 free fractional shares of the big seven uh, microsoft google amazon stuff like that the big seven you receive up to fifty dollars in fractional shares just from depositing hundred dollars that link will be down in the description and it is uh i'm gonna show you guys more about that too in this video so enough talking go ahead hit the thumbs up button share like comment down below that helps out this channel more than you guys can even imagine but yeah enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video all right guys here we are inside of the moomoo app let's look at amd first now as you guys can see at the recording this video amd dropped eight percent in one day from the earnings report that they posted yesterday they dropped eight percent that is completely insane and the cool thing about moomoo is that you could find out exactly why did they drop so if we take a look at amd we could hit this little orange button right here clear as day it's going to give us a quick glimpse inside of amd earning report and you guys can see revenue 5.4 billion dollars in earnings per share seven cents so that's what they're taking home as a company so they're up 2.2% uh, uh, year over year and 177% um, year over year. And you guys are asking if they met the expectations why is it crashing well you can also learn from reading some news car articles in this but at a quick glance if we scroll down you guys can actually see what the analysts are rating amd at right now it's at 144 dollars and 27 cents some analysts are saying and also this is updated may 1st so this is live updated some analysts are saying that it could go back up to 265 dollars as the high the average is a nine 194 dollars and then the minimum is 140 Forty dollars, um, so a little bit down from one forty-four. So I will be comfortable buying it at certain price points. We're gonna do a technical analysis on AMD, but if you guys are wondering, hey, why did AMD fall? Well, we could actually um, go back and then we could look at the news articles, and then there's a whole bunch of news articles in here that you guys could click. Let's take a quick look at AMD Mix earnings revealed a company with a lot to prove. Click that, and you guys could go through and read that as you guys can see. Um, they brought in $5.5 billion and $2.5 billion in gross profit. And then it goes on to say that uh, the future projections, like investors like us, okay, you met earnings. In fact, we expected you guys to beat earnings by much more than what you did beat it by in order. AMD price was already overvalued. So for that price point to maintain true, you guys needed to beat your earnings by a lot more than we expected you guys to beat it by. And then they did not meet that. And then AMD gone on to speak further about the future plans with AMD and what they're going to do quarter two or quarter three did not really project out to what the investors had in for the price point that is at. So it decided to sell off. So we always want to pay attention to the news as well. Listen to the earnings call, especially if you have a lot of money investing inside these companies. So let's take a quick look at Starbucks. So here we are on Starbucks. Let's take a quick look at Starbucks. We could scroll down and look at the future projections. Currently it's at $74.44. Um, some analysts got it up to $104. 
Um, the average is $91 and the minimum is $81. So the low projection on Starbucks right now is that it goes back up in the next 12 months to $81. So that is a good plus for Starbucks. That means $74 might be an awesome buying point. Once again, I'm going to be doing a technical analysis. If you do want to know why Starbucks fell, let's take a, um, let's go back to Starbucks. Starbucks is down 15%. If you do want to take a look at why Starbucks fell, you could uh, read the news articles about Starbucks inside of the Moomoo app. And then if we take a look at Google, Google actually shot up um, after that earnings report. So if we click on Google, take a quick look at that. You guys could look at all of the analytics right here. Once again, they're up $80 billion in revenue. And right now, Google is at 163. Future out projections in 12 months is at 225, 192 average, and 144 for the men. So let's go ahead and do a quick technical analysis over these three companies. All right, here we are on trading view. This is the four hour chart. Let's pull up AMD and turn off the signals right here. Now, AMD, as you guys can see over the last couple of months have been in a downtrend. So let's draw a downtrend right here. We're going to be looking at very simple charts right now. Once again, this is the um, 200 EMA kind of averages out the movement of AMD. And if we was to scroll all the way back on AMD, let's scroll that back. You guys can see that there was in a very strong uptrend over the last couple of months. Very strong uptrend, just going up, 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 up and up. And then it eventually broke down below this strong uptrend line and started to trend in a downtrend for the last couple of months. And if AMD continues down this path right here, continue to go down, down and down and down, a good buying area, let's pull out the rectangle tool, a good buying area for AMD would be actually a good one inside this zone right here and another good one inside of this zone right here. So right now, AMD is at $144. We drawing a support line right here and a support line right here because it went up, got rejected, bounced off of this, got rejected, and then continue to go up off of that support line because it had a little problem going and breaking up above that. So it might have a problem breaking below 144, but a good buying opportunity is actually 144. I see 144 for AMD is at a decent value, but a, a better value was, will be to get AMD at around 134 and $130. So I'm gonna be patient, wait for AMD. I'm gonna set up alert, wait for AMD to pull back to around $130. If you do, I will go in and buy some shares and then I actually have um, some more support zones down here around $80 from AMD. So if it pulls back to 130, I'll buy um, $1,000 worth of, of stocks. And if it pulls all the way back down to $80, I'll buy $2,000 worth of stocks. So I'll double it when it reaches my next support zone. So that's my plan for AMD. Let's pull up um, Starbucks, SBUX. Okay, <laughs> as you guys can see, Starbucks have already been in a downtrend for a very long time. Whenever you're looking at the 200 EMA and you can put the arrow on the end of the 200 EMA line, the yellow line right here, and it's pointing down, it's pointing down like that. We put a little arrow right there and it's pointing down. That means it's in a downtrend. So this whole time, Starbucks already been inside a downtrend. And then this earnings report did not make it any better that it fell so low to $74. Now, the good thing for that is that if you're not already in Starbucks, this might be a good buying opportunity at $74. But we, but we draw a strong support line right here in this zone from $68 to $70, that would be a good buying opportunity for Starbucks. In fact, if we zoom out just a little bit more, um, let's see if it bounced off this line anytime in the past. Yes, if we was to draw it all the way out, it'll come back to around this area right here. So we can move it up if we wanted to. So around that area right there, and that is still around $69 to $70 for Starbucks. So let's take a look at the last one, Google, G-O-G-L. Now you guys know that <laughs> um, Google completely exploded after their earnings report right here. It shot from um, 50, $155 all the way up to $174 the next day. And then it started to pull back because the market actually overreacted. Um, Google is one of those stocks that people just invest into no matter what, because they've been growing consistently for a very long time. 
Once again, if we was to zoom out on Google, they've been in a very strong uptrend for at least the last year since 2023. So they was in a downtrend that I drew out for my Patreon members a long time ago. Um, they came down to our buying area. This was where we was picking up Google. We bought, we picked up a lot of shares of Google. It broke above the downtrend line, started to trend up. And it's been above the 200 EMA line for the at least a year or so, right? So it's been trending up. We've been patient and we've only been buying Google when it pulls back to the yellow EMA line. So even though Google overreacted, the market will always pull back to a good buying opportunity. So if this yellow line continue to trend up like this and Google continue to pull back, hopefully around that area right here, we will pick up more shares of Google in this area between $160 and $157. So it's hard to find Google at an amazing price, but when you do, you go in and buy up a, you buy up a lot of shares, but when Google pullbacks to a decent price, it's always good to start to dollar cost average in and take profit at the top. And that's it, Dreamers. That's how you could play earnings reports using simple tools within the Moomoo Moo app. You could go over there with the link down in the description. Let me know down in the comment section. Did you play any of these trades inside of the earnings during this earnings seasons? Are you playing any trades at all? Do you have, are you an option trader? Did you make a lot of money option trading these stocks before their earnings? A lot of people do that. They play earnings reports and they either make a lot of money or you losing a lot of money, but I'm an investor. I like to buy stocks at a great value. So when I see good quality companies like AMD have a major pullback and Starbucks have a major pullback, that's why I go in and I like to pick up a lot of shares at a discount. That's picking up shares that's on sale. So if you're inside the stock market, only investing to hot stocks that's doing really, really good, and you don't know nothing about investing, then you need to start actually teaching yourself about how to invest inside the stock market because you want to pick up good quality stocks at a very cheap price because the how you win this game is you have to buy low and sell high if you're always buying hot stocks at the high price you're never going to win this game you have to buy good quality companies not penny stocks not 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 any companies that's worth under 100 million market cap none of those stocks good quality companies that's been around for a very long time at a very good price if you find them at a good price it's when you buy low and sell high when no one's talking about these companies that's when you do your research and you go in and you buy up these shares if everyone's talking about these companies you missed out uh, you missed out so you need to go ahead and look for the next stock to invest into all right so yeah go ahead and leave the thumbs up button sign up with Moo Moo down in the description deposit hundred dollars get your 10 free fractional shares of the big seven stocks right uh valued up to no it's valued to 50 dollars. so you guys go ahead and check that out leave a comment down below but yeah, other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.